what's the deal youtube we back with another video today i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to download vsts and plugins in fl studio we're gonna go ahead and go with the um go with the free ones today just to show you how to install them and how to download them and how to install them in fl studio it's a little more it's a little more it's more steps to it versus how to um how to download it and install files so files is way more easier than plugins and vsts and um also affect affect vsts it's a little more different and about, about a couple more steps but we what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump into it if you haven't already go ahead and like this video leave a comment and sub if you, sub to the channel if you haven't already oh, excuse me what we're gonna do is exit this out so we ain't got to worry about that and then open up and what i usually go to a website i use got it loaded up right here is plugin boutique hope i'm saying that right uh, i don't even know but yeah let's go ahead got my account in so what we're gonna do is just go for the free ones i, I will do another video where i purchase a plugin and uh show you a video on that just because it might be different or it might be a different link or it might be different with, with purchase purchase ones you, ne you ne just never know there's so many damn websites with plugins and different type of stuff just want to make sure you was in the right you in the right lane you're in the right area when it comes to installing and finding plugins so what we're going to do is click this free and i'm going to do both instrument and effect just to save some time i ain't going to do a separate video on that i'm just do the both uh effect and uh instrument so what we're gonna do is just click this one right here i ain't really tripping which 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 one i download is free let's go ahead and just uh plug this in let's move on so let's go here plug in that uh yeah we ain't doing that as long as we got this ready bam as long as it's downloading, we good. You ain't gotta put your email and all that in there. So let's just go ahead and let that download. I almost forgot to. Almost forgot to mention this. But when downloading plugins, be sure to um make sure you're downloading whichever your your computer is. So if you're uh Mac, make sure you're downloading the Mac version, whichever link it goes to for your uh for Mac, download that. And if you have Windows be sure you are clicking the link for windows just a heads up on that just the two different ones make sure you get yours exit that and let's go ahead and go over to the effects i'm gonna just find some probably simple and just throw this find something just some for the video so we can just what is this oh this is also oh, picture all right now let's go oh wait wait Okay, nothing happened. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just wait for this to go ahead and download. And we're gonna get back to that. Alright, so we got the uh plugins downloaded and ready to get those installed. Now, just a heads up, sometimes even with free ones, they might have a serial number right here. What we're gonna do is come back to this and then um install that whenever the plugin requires that. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. And that's usually how uh when you buy a plugin or purchase plugins, that's usually how they would um make you install it at this little step, which is a serial number. It's just like a serial number that they give you once you purchase it. So keep those keep that in mind that once you buy plugins, they will uh, give you a little serial number so it's so it's official. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. And let's go ahead. And install these plugins now. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna start with the uh, the uh, synth plugin, the effect one. We'll do that next. So usually with these plugins, I usually have this uh, setup the setup file plugin thing. Usually just double click that. What you'll do, you'll have a uh, you'll have a message pop up, which is just like a yes or no. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Just say yes. It's not really making any changes besides besides minor, minor, minor changes. 
And with all this, just like everything, bam, 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 click agree, BSD plugins, boom, boom, boom. Let me just double check. That's good. Yep. So most of these is yes, yes, yes. It's not. Shouldn't be this many questions. Here we go. So this is the important one. Make sure you put your files in a specific file for your plugin, just like uh, your your files for your uh, specific um, genre of beats. You got your files for your West Coast, your Detroit trap. Same with plugins, but most of your plugins will be in one folder. So when you um, scan it in FL Studio, it'll pop up, and you don't got to go through several uh, several different files just to find your plugins. So that could be a pain in the butt. So what we're gonna do, I usually put mines in profile 86. Just boom boom. Same thing with that. Profile 86, where you at? Bam. Whoa. I don't know why I canceled that. But yeah, I usually put everything in in 86 because it's easier to locate. And it's easy to locate for FL Studio to find your plugin. So what we're gonna do is do this. Bam, bam, bam. Let that install. And when that install, we'll pull up FL Studio and it should all be there. All right. Once it says it's installed successfully, go ahead and exit that out. Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and open FL Studio. Bam. Now it should be a message to pop up. If not, then we're good to go. All right, so you go ahead and go to options, go to options, and then manage plugins. Now, like I said, whichever plugin that your plug, whichever file that your plugins are in, It'll be down here in this folder. Well, it won't be down here, but you'll plug them in once you put your FL Studio folder. It'll be down here. For example, my profile 86 is right here. And what I'll do, just click that and just find plugin. And what should pop up is our new plugins. And it should scan everything. And it should be a quick scan. It should be a quick scan. But if not, let it do its thing. Have some patience and it should pop up. All right, so we're on to the effect plugin. And with this one, we got to extract this one because it's a zip file. So, so let's go ahead and extract that. Boom, boom. Bam. Delete that one. We don't need that. Move it to the uh, your files for your plugin that you use. Move it over there, and then where it's at. Where it's at. I don't think we got lost. Where it's at. Bam. And let's go ahead and let that run. Sometimes with these, they have a little message right here. Just go ahead and click uh, more info and just run anyway. Those messages. Yep. Same thing with this. Go ahead and click yes. And. Oh, excuse me. Select your files for your plugins and then where it's at, where it's at. Bam. Run files and let's install. done all right all right so that's done so let's go ahead minimize this open up fl studio and let's get this out i don't know why that was up boom boom open up plugins bam uh select our uh files for our plugins that's in there so we can find and install we'll find the ones that we just installed and it should pop up as well as any other ones that you have in there that's new but any of the old ones yeah old ones ain't gonna pop up those are already scanned they in there so boom 
bam right there there's our new vst right there it should be highlighted we can go ahead and go into our vsts well not this one this is generator but let's go to the effects one and it should pop up in the new section but that's just when you first install them when you uh get them in there boom should be highlighted and we're gonna go ahead and open that up just to check it out Boom. Now, just like I said, with the uh, serial number, some of them have a serial number. For like, for example, for the ones you purchase, they will have a serial number. Sometimes the free ones have it. And for example, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to deal with this. It's more easier just to highlight this, copy it, and then uh, minimize that. Boom. Bam. Uh, register. And for instance, boom, boom. And now you're good to go. Now you can use whatever effect you got and use them in your beats. All right. So I had to find another um, synth VST to get because the other one was, the other one was tripping basically. I don't know what happened with that one. But what I did find was just the drum box synth. It's something simple. Just to download. We got that downloaded. What I'm going to do is do the same thing. Bam, bam. This is a free one, by the way. So we go ahead and extract. Bam, bam. Boom. Exit this out. Bam. Move this into our file. Yep, continue that. Boom, boom. Now, with some of these plugins, they won't have this icon that uh, tells you to set it up. Double click and set, double -click and set it up. They might just be a file like the one we just transferred over, like this one. It might just be a file. Now, with those, I believe all you have to do is switch them over to your file and then open up FL Studio and then uh, go to Options, Manage Plugins, and do a scan if it'll find it in your files. And nine times out of 10, it'll find it. So that's basically how you do it for the um, Plugins that come with a file instead of a setup, a setup, uh, a setup, a setup message. Ugh, can't even say that. But yeah, that's how it is for most files that come with a plugin, or that's how it is for most plugins that come with a file instead of a complete setup. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down, make sure it's highlighted. Bam, bam, send. Yep, it's in there. So let's go ahead and double check that's, that is actually in our list, our plugin database. Generator, no, no, generator has been installed. Generator, bam, bam. Well, also, you go to the, you, you can go to new, and it'll be right there highlighted. But yeah, for future future reference, it'll be right here in your VSTs. Bam, bam. And you, you are good to go. Bam, bam. So just like that, that is how you download and install free plugins synth and effects or which whichever ones you're looking for effects or synths there's also other ones like amps amps and all the other ones but just for that that is how you download free plugins and vsts if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like comment and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel it's been your boy the homie kurt i'll catch you in the next video